Katie Picks. Firstly, let's get out of the way. Yes, I do look like a 90s TV presenter, but isn't that part of the fun of this channel? Secondly, we're making turmeric cauliflower bites today. That's right. I've basically heard a lot about turmeric at the moment. It seems to be in my coffee, it seems to be in my smoothies, obviously it's in a lot of curries, but I thought, is there a more interesting way that we could play around with this gorgeous, gorgeous spice? And so I did my research and I found these lovely little cauliflower bites. So, couldn't be simpler. We're gonna show you how this spice blends nicely with other spices and let's get started. First things first, our spices. So you need a nice big pan on a hob. I'm gonna pop that onto Should do it in one take. I'm gonna pop that onto a low to medium heat and we're gonna add in two tablespoons of oil. Lovely. Now whilst that's warming up, we don't want it to be like ferociously hot, but we do want to get a bit of heat into that. We're gonna talk about our spices. So first things first is the star of the show, the turmeric or turmeric or how you pronounce it. Now this has been used in Chinese and Indian medicine for centuries and it's a fantastic anti-inflammatory and just a general feel-good spice which is why it seems to have like really picked up in popular culture at the moment so we're going to add two teaspoons into our pan One, two lovely then we're going to add in two teaspoons of ground coriander now i know coriander is a bit of a marmite herb and not a lot of people well you either love it or you hate it and it's a marmite reference Basically, it is really good and it complements the turmeric really nicely. Turmeric's got almost quite a bitter taste, but the coriander brings a nice bit of freshness into it. It's also jam-packed full of good stuff, such as uh, magnesium and iron. So we're gonna put two teaspoons of that in as well. Then we've got ground cumin. Now ground cumin, it's also an anti-inflammatory. So again, really good little healthy snack going on here. You've got some amazing health benefit qualities as well. Woohoo! Um, so we're going to put two teaspoons of that in there too. And finally, now this is optional, but this is for a little bit of heat and uh, an added tangy flavour, we're going to actually put in some chilli powder. Now I've got some really hot stuff here, so I'm only going to put one teaspoon in, but obviously whack in as much as you can handle. So there we have all those beautiful spices. I'm then going to season this up, but for... I'm then going to season this up, but for the time being, I'm just going to season it with pepper. And I'm actually going to put two teaspoons of pepper in as well. Now the heat from this is just delicious. It's not like a chilli heat, it's a gorgeous little kind of snappy, really tickling on the palate kind of heat, which I just love. One, two. So we want to cook these spices through for about two to three minutes. It's just going to really release all of their flavours, all of those lovely rich earthy tones that are in the spices. Whatever appliance you decide to stir it with, be prepared for this to turn a very funky colour because turmeric is not very forgiving when it comes to wooden spoons. We're just going to give that a nice stir around. Whoa! The smell! Oh my god, that's so good. That's like a Moroccan market. Okay, so that is going to be on the heat. Not too high. Just going to gently cook it through in that oil. For about two minutes. Whilst that is cooking, I'm just going to prepare our cauliflower. Cut it in half. Oh, look at it. Isn't that just a beautiful veg? And then you can either snap off the little florets or obviously get your knife involved. It's up to you. So what we want here are some nice little bite size. You're not looking for your Sunday roast cauliflower. This isn't cheese, cauliflower cheese or anything like that. We want little bite size popcorn pieces of cauliflower. And this should serve up as a side dish for about six to eight people, really. One cauliflower. 
Okay, I've made a wonderful mess here, but anyone who's a regular to this channel will know that that is nothing new. I'm gonna pop all this into the pan. So, chaos ensues. <laughs> back with our spatula, and we're just gonna make sure that all of those spices start to cover the cauliflower. Oh, it's getting right up my nose. <laughs> oh, it's nice. If you guys have any ideas for any recipes with turmeric in, please do share them with me. I'm kind of fascinated by the spice because it's got a very distinct flavour. It's always got quite, a, as I said before, a bit of a bitter edge. Lovely. OK, so at this point, this is when I'm going to get our salt involved. So I'm going to do a nice, generous pinch of salt. A, to draw a bit of the moisture out of the cauliflower and make it a little bit more saucy, a bit softer. But also just to really bring out the flavours of those spices as well. And then to this, you want to add 250 mils of boiling water. So that's going to go in here as well. Give that a really good stir again. Make sure those spices are nicely soaking in. OK, so what you're going to do now is you're going to bring this to the boil. Once it's boiling, drop it back down to a simmer and simmer for about five to six minutes or until your cauliflower is cooked through. You'll also notice that all of that water will evaporate because we're not covering it. It will evaporate, everything will soften and thicken and you'll get a lovely glossy coating on your delicious cauliflower bites. <laughs> there you go. Look at the colour. Look how beautiful they are. So there we have it, as simple as turmeric cauliflower bites. Oh, oh, it really worked. Very spicy. That's some hot chilli powder I used there. Oh, that's delicious. You get a real earthiness from the turmeric, but you get like a zing of freshness. I can taste that coriander, but not in a typical coriander fashion. I just drink a mouthful. If you like this recipe and you actually fancy seeing a few more that are a bit different, they're not your classic family recipes, then let me know in the comments box below. If you like this, then why not give it a thumbs up? And if you fancy seeing a little bit more from me, then, you know, subscribe if you want to. It's free, after all, and I'm here every single Tuesday, loving it. So please, come on, get involved. Until next time, guys, I'll see you then.